Welcome to the Farmer Johnson YouTube channel. With harvest right around the corner, it's time to start getting our equipment ready for the madness. So on today's episode, we're gonna be getting our bean heads out of storage and making sure they are ready to cut beans this fall. So with that being said, I hope you guys like this video. We'll go ahead and get started. What? Uh, my combine screen now has a virtual terminal too. Yeah, no, 28, 28 with it. So we are hooking up the combines and corn heads, making sure all the auto height works because for some reason that tends to like not work every single year when we go to get the stuff out. So we're just like testing out, making sure it's working. Uh, no, no, I don't. And nothing on my screen is like saved from last year. I don't know. They messed with it or something, and it's it's all kinds of messed up. Um, I don't know. So number one, this this isn't anyone else's fault. This is just needs cleared off. But none of my stuff. This is all different. All of my run screens are different from how they're normally set up so I mean not a huge deal I just need to go in and reset all this stuff pretty sure none of this stuff is supposed to be on my run page six but then we hit the back button for some reason I got a virtual terminal in here an ISO bust a combine as far as I know is not running anything ever with a VT nor does it have nor does it have a hookup for a VT so I don't know why you'd want that option in here, but oh well. You gonna calibrate it first, or are you just gonna wing it and see if it still works? I'm just gonna wing it and see if it still works. Snouts are up here, feet the brain and things will smack the ground. So. so we've kind of already gone through all the corn heads and make sure made sure they are ready to go. Um, today we're just doing the little things like making sure the auto head height's working and um, the deck blades, stuff like that, stuff that doesn't take very much time. Um, so it's going good. We've already checked all of the gearboxes and chains and stuff like that. So we're kind of flying through this stuff considering it's all worked so far. Hey Bruce. Alright, yesterday we got the corn heads finished up, they're ready to go. They should be 100 percent field ready as far as I know. So today, we are headed to get bean heads out. I am in my 337 Peterbilt uh, flatbed rig, heading over there. I got dad's little dump trailer hooked to the back of it, but this is the first time I am gonna be hooking this to a bean head. So we'll really see what it's, what it's made of, if it's too long, if I screwed up by building this truck. If I screwed up by building this truck and it's too long, uh, that kind of sucks. I, there's nothing I can do about it now, because the truck is built. Dang! I don't get to see my pickup, like, getting drove very much. Like, most of the time when I'm, it's getting drove, it's me driving it. So, when someone else is driving it and I see it out, I'm like, dang, that's a good looking truck. And then I'm like, oh wait, that's my truck. So, I don't know if everyone else goes through that, but. There's some of the corn in Dad's house. It's going kind of fast, it's hard to see, but you can definitely tell some leaves are changing in there. I don't know how the yields will be this year. 
kind of seems like we missed a couple rings that we really needed to get them ears to fill out. Uh, not saying it's too late for this corn here if we got a rain here in the next couple days, but I don't know. Some of, some of the corn I think it's too late for already. It, I don't know. Hopefully not. I pray it's not, but it's kind of looking like it might be a rough, a rough fall. Um, just with the amount of rain we haven't got and with how low prices are, it's it's not looking like it's going to be a, a bumper year, that's for sure. While I was gone on vacation, my cousin did polish this rig for me. It looks pretty daggone good. I uh, just had him do the wheels, the steps, and that was about it on both sides though, so it looks real nice. Tank's all shiny. That looks good. <laughs> Number two rolling out. We just got my 50 foot right here and another 45. So I'm gonna, of course, try to hook my truck up to the 50. Number three is out. Down to the last one. Number four.
I got a key in mine if you need it. Hey, can we lay on the flat bed? Yeah, shirt off. Decent. I just needed a thumbnail picture. It's the only reason we come here to the Benz. Pretty tough. Is this now your rig? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Well then what am I gonna drive? Tough luck for me, I guess, right? Yeah. Dang. Do you even know how to drive this? Yeah. Oh. oh yeah. You've been studying for three years now, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Luckily, it's only a cab filter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Better yeah. be careful. Okay. I think your motor would be dusted by now. If Down running through the calibrations here. Make sure the head auto height's gonna work. Having your auto header height work on a bean head is so much more crucial than a corn head. Like it's nice in a corn head, yeah, but like it's really not that big of a deal. And a bean head, like, it's a really painful day if your auto head might don't work. Very painful day. It's pretty easy to calibrate. You just run through, like, four steps here. It brings your head up and down a couple times and then lets you know if it passed or failed. I'm going to try to find a little bit of an angle. I might put it up on the slope there. A little bit of a high spot to set the head down on to see if my side to side tilt works because these heads should have that where they they automatically go up and down floating across the ground but they should go back and forth side to side like this but um i can't remember if it was working last year i know two years ago the other 50 foot head it was not working on so i can't remember if this one was working or not That looks pretty tough. I'm a big fan. RIP 380. Anyways, got my 48 foot um, running gear pulled in here. Just greasing it, checking the wheel bearings, making sure that I'm not gonna have a wheel bearing go out and lose a tire and throw my head off the, ground, off the wagon while I'm going down the road. Cause that would really suck. I don't want that to happen. So, I'm checking it in here. This spare sickle needs a shaker head put on it. I don't know why we have one in here with a shaker head on it. And one without. That's different, but I'll get that put on. Yeah, this is honestly really bizarre why I put my sickle away with one missing shaker head. I'm pretty sure I did a video, or I had a video where I was doing that, so. If someone wants to go back and find that video where I was putting them sickles in and tell me why I put one sickle in there without a shaker head, that would be awesome. Let, let me know in the comments why I did that. Oof. The semi? No. It looks good though, right? You like it? Okay. Yeah, it does match my truck. I found one. This is a shaker head. This attaches bolts on to half of the sickle, basically. And then a gearbox gets attached onto this, and that is what moves your sickle back and forth to cut the beans off. Back in the day, we only used to have to switch our sickles out like one time a season. So we'd run it, run a sickle half a season 
and then uh, trade it out. We would trade it out halfway through the season for a new sickle, but now it seems like we're mainly cutting all the beans with two heads, so you can only make it like a third of the season with a sickle. Uh, last year, we did not have two spare sickles per head, so we were like, one morning and one rainy day, we were rebuilding sickles as fast as we could. It's not ideal that way, but we got it done. Now we got, now we got two spares, so. I don't know if that head is unlocked, but it don't seem to be flexing quite like mine is. Mine is really all frowning face here. It looks pretty gnarly. If you're like me and this video got you absolutely pumped for harvest season, maybe go check out one of my other videos on my channel, or you can check out this playlist that has every single video from last fall in it. Anyways, that's all I got for today, so thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.